Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Unranked! Woo! What's going on? Um, yeah, going to play a TVC probably, that would be nice. But whatsoever. I'm currently I'm playing not too bad, but also not too good. My multitasking is way off. But at least I know what I need to do, when I need to do what, so in most cases, so should be fine. So I will play now one unranked. Then I have two crazy replays I will cast and, and record for the upcoming weeks. And that should be fine. I don't know, maybe, just maybe I will do a stream soon. Uh, where I will try out the new custom balance test map with all the big changes. Protoss, that's also okay. I hate playing against Protoss, but it's okay. And yeah, you know what I'm gonna try? I saw you Thermal play this. I don't have a build order. Not really a build order at least. But it's fine, and you know why? Because it's unranked. So in unranked, I can try out stuff. Try my best, be sneaky, have fun, and that's it. And that's exactly what I will do here. I will do exactly that. So um, I did. I don't really remember if he if he went for combat shields or not. But no, 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 no. It wasn't combat shields. No. What he did was very basic. Um, he just went for gasless expand. Woo. And it can be viable. It can be viable. So that's what I will tr try out now. I, I will try out gasless expand. It can work. It can work. Uh, of course it's risky but who cares. Who cares. I don't care. Oh, 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 okay, there's, there's the probe. Stupid probe already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, stupid probe. It's okay. It's okay. The thing is, he found me immediately. Means, for me, basically, that... Um, yeah, for me that just means... He needs to be really close to me, you know? So really close. I don't know how he did scout me so fast or why, yeah, why, but he did and it's okay. So there he is, okay. You know what I could try? I could try to be really annoying, okay, forget it, forget it. Forget it. I, I wanted to try to be really sneaky. The, the problem is, now I have given away that I want indeed to be aggressive, possibly. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I didn't scout the gases as well, so that's a big issue, probably. Uh, yeah, whatsoever. 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 I really don't care now. So, as soon as I have enough units, like... Okay. That's what he's doing. So, he wants to scout what's going on, and that's fine. So he scouts again, be really annoying. And now we just move across the map, right? Yeah. And see if he can find any damage. And behind that we go for Greedy Third Command Center and the Factory. And let's just see if that works or not. Let's get a bunker just in case. And let's get stim. So now we move in. There is a pylon. We can force one photon overcharge. 
And that's good. That's that's good. That's all we needed to do here. And we are fine. Wait, wait that was wrong. So photon overcharge will wear off. Another one. And that's good, you know? Now he doesn't have really really much energy left. And I'm I'm in charge now. I can say what we do. So there shouldn't be a photon overcharge available again. It is, okay. So we got another kill here. That's good. Uh, concussive shells could be helpful. And let's get our eBay. And there we are, killing lots of probes, rip warp gate, um, did he forget warp gate? But yeah, that was, <laughs> that was the build, I didn't think it would work. Okay, tier 3 master league, that's, that's nothing special, but interesting, very interesting, so I did force a lot of units out of his one gate and I, I thought he would go for an oracle or any anything behind that to, to punish me. I mean he scouted it you know. But that was basically what happened with uh, Euthermo on his stream. He was just moving in with a bunch of marines, I guess 9 was the magic count. But there was no pylon, so he just went in, killed the adept and all the probes instant GG the protoss went into out of instant out of the game yeah look wait yes he forgot warp gate what the f okay but even if not uh, the difference would have been that big the difference I think I mean, he's not producing anything out of it. Yeah, okay, maybe it would have been different, but... So at the 4 minute mark, you basically hit with that squad. Yeah, he totally forgot it. And he went for blink, which is a smart decision, I think. Look at the photon overcharge. That was one. And it's okay to lose one marine to a photon overcharge. That's okay. So you bait out another one. And then there's the third one. That was a good bait, the pylon killed 4, but he lost that depth, that was unnecessary. He could have chrono boosted the gateway, he could have used the immortal, he got everything, he should have not lost this. Never. But, okay, whatsoever. So, if, okay, there was the observer, if. He didn't forget warp gate. I sh still should have been fine as I would have gotten my third base. Morphing to an orbital. I got the eBay for plus one. Stim would finish as well as concussive shells. I would fire combat shields. I would get medivacs and two more barracks. So this build is economical. Um, you might need some bunker against blink. If you don't turtle too hard, you will be fine. As long as he doesn't go for Colossus, uh, you're fine. Even Storm, if you have good splits, you're fine, in my opinion. It depends. Dark Templar could be a nuisance, but if the eBay is in time with the tourists, you should be fine. Also, you have triple orbitals, so lots of scans, if you scout it. And he will be on two bases, so he has two choices. He can go for a greedy, greedy thir for third base himself which will be later than mine, or he goes for a two base all in, which I should be able to hold if I don't mess it up. But that only works if I can deal enough damage and pressure with those marines. If I lose them and don't kill anything, then that's bad. Um, so at least I need to force lots of uh, POs and kill some adepts or stalker or anything in order to push him back so that my medivacs which are coming 
then I can drop here and here simultaneously and he won't be able to defend at both places because he don't have enough he doesn't have enough overcharges. So if he overcharges this pylon, I will position myself here. If he positions that, I will be in the mineral line and so on. And then he needs his units down there because the mothership core alone is not enough for Stimp Marines with a medivac. So I can deal lots of damage here by dropping, killing a pylon or two, which is fine. If I kill two pylons, then that's damage. Not probe damage, but he can't produce anything, I will empower structures, I will be annoying, and he won't get set up his third base. So that's that's the basic idea, I guess, behind that kind of build. Uh, versus a one base, it can be very tricky. I mean, you get the three wrecks, but the gas is late, so you need to rely on bunker and scouting with the SEVs to know what's coming. But it's fine, I like this build. And it's viable, you can also go for the Reaper, into the double medivac drop with the marines to kill the third base or pressure. It's it's all, all doable, um, but I think I will experiment with that build a little more. I think it's very viable. And of course the observer. So the observer should hit at 430. So let's see. If you know, look at that. He's still, he's still in movement. And there he stays. That's 4.30. If the Robo is, it's an, if it's a normal Robo timing, so Twilight Robo or Robo Twilight, something like that, which is quite common nowadays uh, for Protoss to get both of those structures at the same time, the Observer will hit at 4.30. And what you can do is not throw a mule, throw a scan. The scan costs you 200 minerals, because a mule will only mine 200 minerals now in, in Legacy of the Void. In Hots it was 270, now it's 200, and the Absorber costs him 6, 75 gas and 25 minerals. So scanning an Observer is always, always worth it, because he relies on it. He, know, he wants to know what's going on, where is your army, when are you moving out, because that's the, that's the point, like against Zerg as well, when he will not going for tech, but go heavy units. He will use his gateways instead of double forge and stuff like that. So if you can keep him in the dark, your drops also can deal more damage because he doesn't know when you're moving out and where you're going. So this observe, imagine here is a bunch of army, two, two medivacs, three medivacs and a bunch of bio units. And you, he spots it. So he knows how big your army is. And if you move out, he knows, will you drop because you load in and boost? Or will you walk towards the third base? And he knows immediately where he needs to position his units. And then you won't find any damage on any decent protos. Exactly like here. Always, always if you move out, do this, do this kind of trick. You know, where you, where you go in like that. Just, just shortly. And you can see it. Now you know it's right here, observe, and you can see it. Sometimes it's hard to see it. You can also switch the camera location, so woo 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 to see it. And that's what pros are doing. They are like, oh, there's an observer. They they drop here, for example, they drop. Look if they see the observer. Of course it's not guaranteed that you see it, but they, they look for it. Scan, and then the Protoss doesn't know if there's a third base. Will he drop here? Or will he go for the third base? Or will he relocate down here and go for the natural? Will he drop at all? And he needs to make another observer, which costs not only gas, but also production time in the robotics facility. Which means Colossuses are... Colossuses... They are a bit later. Uh, Immortal are a bit later. Disruptor are a bit later. War Prison is a bit later. And it's expensive. Protoss needs the gas. I know... For me personally, it feels like Protoss has unlimited amount of resources. That's how it feels if you play against Protoss, but actually that's not the case. So, I'm done with the unranked. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you a very nice day and good.